Okay, for this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add makeup. So, for lipstick, get out the polygon lasso and just select the lips. And that's done. Now, right click and feather. I'm going to feather by, um, let's say, two pixels. Now, I'll make it softer. You can also go up here and feather it. Every selection you do, I prefer to feather after I've selected it. Now let's get a nice, let's get a red out. That's my pick, lips are kind of purpley pink. You see when I deselect, it's softer edged because I feathered it. The more you feather it, the softer it'll be. And let's try, you know, soft light looks good. Overlay. Overlay is more vibrant. You need to lower the opacity of that one. You can also try hue for more subtle difference. A uh, color more vibrant, but yet again more subtle than the other ones. I would I prefer multiply and linear burn for um, the deeper colors, just because they kind of show up a little better. See, I'm lowering this to about 35% opacity, and now you can just get the blur tool out and blur it a little bit more. I wouldn't use a filter blur because you might need a different amount of blurring on different edges. So there we go. That's before and after. And if you're like me where it kind of made your lips a lot less shiny than they were. Just get out a white, make the lip lipstick layer invisible, and just figure out where you naturally had shine before. It's just didn't have a whole lot of shine, but had a little bit. And just kind of draw it on and get out the smudge tool and get a brush that either has a bunch of little dots. Like the, this one um, kind of reminds me of sprinkles on ice cream or something. I'm going to use this one. I'm going to use it at about 30% strength and just kind of go up and down with that. This will kind of replicate those little lines you get in your lips. And now you make... Lipstick layer visible again, you just lower this. Or, you know, soft light, overlay. I like the way overlay looks for this color. And you can see, kind of adds the shine back. It doesn't look very good right now, but blur, that G blur that I can't figure out how to pronounce. And you can see the difference that makes to make it more lipstick looking. Okay, I'll get rid of those for blush. Uh, let's try a pink blush. Just get a big soft brush. There we go and just put it on your cheeks where you would apply a blush and try like soft light or overlay, lower the opacity a bit. Those are my favorite for adding blush because it doesn't not too vibrant. For eyeshadow you can use brushes or you can draw it on. Let's see. Basically just get whatever color you want. I'm gonna use purple because purple shows up pretty good. And just Put it on where you'd want the eyeshadow to be. You could also go in with a polygon lasso and select the area you want first. Let me lower the opacity a little bit and, you know, soft light, overlay. Those are a bit more natural looking, a little softer. Um, linear burn, you know, more opaque looking shadow. You also try hue for like a soft, really soft look, 
or color for soft look again. Doesn't look very natural, but it does look okay. Um, gonna use linear burn, just lower the opacity and zoom out so you can see. Kind of bad looking. Uh, you can use brushes. I'll give you a link to where I got these brushes I'm gonna show you in a second. Uh, to this in the sidebar, just pick out one you like, make it on a new layer, click once. This one I might just click twice. And I go to Im edit, free transform, and take one little corners and just make it smaller. There we go. And then right click and warp. And now you just click and drag it around until it fits over the eye correctly. Free transform, double click to set it. And yet again, same thing you did before. I'll zoom out so you can see how that looks. That one has a little bit of a eyeliner look in it. You could do multiple layers with the same thing. Uh, different layer um, settings for different looks. For eyeliner, you can either use the pen tool, select on one side, then select on the other, hold, and drag, and then stroke. Actually, first I need to pick out a smaller brush. Brush about as big as you want the eyeliner to be. I'm gonna make it a little bit big. Stroke path brush, okay, and there you go. Yet again, same settings you use for the eyeshadow. You could also get a picture you like, like I have this picture I found on Google Images and just erase some of what you don't need. You know, kind of get a softer edge. So I really liked how this person, I'm not really sure who they are or what anything, like I said, I got off Google, did it, but I liked it. So I'm going to put that on Linear Burn, and I'm going to free transform it, and I'm going to try to position their eye over mine. Lower the opacity, I'm going to put this on normal for now. Mess with it so I can see where their eye is. And then I'm going to go to warp again and just move it around until it aligns with my eye. That looks like it's somewhat there. Strengthen. That's not, I didn't do a very good job at that at all, but you see what I'm doing. Now you can use a polygon lasso to go in and delete the eye by just selecting it and pushing the delete key. Deselect, edit, free transform again. Then I can properly see my eye. Then you can just leave it like that. You know, erase the excess. you don't need and just blur that cut line. You can also feather it. I'm blurring it because I want a little more control better for at least the ones I've tried. I'm just going to lower the opacity a bit. Retransform this again. Stretch it. Mm. Well, you can. I'm doing a really, really bad job, but you can see what I'm doing. And then, if you don't like the colors or whatever of it, since that is looking halfway decent now, you can go to Image Adjustments, Hue Saturation. Just kind of move it back and forth, depending on what you want, or Image Adjustments levels and slide these around to get it to blend in better with your skin and such. And then you can go to, you know, red, blue, and green and then adjust it from there as well.